Welcome back to a new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how you can add a custom cursor on your website or on each specific page. Now, as you can see, I've got this uh, website here that I'm working on. It only has one page and it currently has, this is how my cursor on the laptop looks like. And it's currently just using the normal cursor. So if I go to any other uh, website, let's say I go on YouTube, you will see that this is my default cursor. It's the one I use. If I even leave the browser completely, you can see that this is the cursor that I use. Now, the whole idea is that when visitors are on your website, they can view something else other than that pointer. I don't really have another way of pointing at the mouse, <laughs> uh, but it's very easy to do so. And I'll show you how to do it for two different pages. Now, the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and click on that arrow over here. Now, if you scroll all the way down, it's sort of like hidden, but you can still see it. And we're going to click on the cursor. Now straight away, you'll see that it says add image or SFG. We're going to go ahead and click on that. This is actually very easy. And you get the choice to either create any media from Wix, sorry, to use any media from Wix or then use an AI image creator. I'm gonna go ahead and select the palm. I'll click add to site. And you can see now that we have this as the cursor. Now you can see that right now, as I'm still in the editor, it's a normal mouse. But if I go ahead and I click on preview and we just give it a second. Yep, there we go. You can see that the mouse is no longer that one. Now, if I go ahead and click on something, you can see it still works. Uh, there's actually no button on this page. But if I go ahead and drag and drop, sometimes it does glitch out. But you can see that it overall it works. Also, we're in the editor, so things might sort of not work but usually this works really well and you can see that it works as well now let's go ahead and click on the edit the site and let's see how we can add it to different pages at the same time so i'm going to go ahead and i'll create a new page just a normal boring page and there's two ways to add this now the first way is to just come here and add it manually like we already did or the second way which is done that makes sense to me is if you want each page to have the exact same cursor, you can go ahead and click on apply to more pages. And then you can select the one you want, or you can select all pages and it will select all of them. However, otherwise, if you want each page to have its own cursor, maybe this one is palm and you want for this one, for it to be something else, again, go ahead, add, and then you can select, maybe let's select the puppy or the pug. And you will see it here. You can also make it huge or tiny or small. We're going to make it the biggest option. And to test this in the best environment, what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and publish. For some reason, the publish button is hidden, but let's go ahead and click that. Amazing. Let's go ahead and click on view site. Now you can see that once I'm on the page, the palm is now my cursor. However, there is still an issue where if you're using like any of these sort of um, dragging uh, abilities, you will not be able to use the palm because it's sort of outside of the actual page. Now let's go ahead and see that new image, oh sorry, the new website or the new page that we created and see if it looks different. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's see why this page is not showing. Actually, let's just set it as a home page. There we go. So now if I go ahead and hold publish again and click on view site, we're not being taken to the home page. That is far. If I click home, yep, we're not. Let's go ahead and just simply directly go to that page. So I'm going to click SEO basics, go to URL. And you can see that we finally do actually have the image of the pug and it's huge. It's way bigger than the other uh, button or the other cursor that we said. And if we go to the home page, you'll see that we're going to switch to the hand. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a very quick five minute tutorial, but it can help you with something that you need in your website. I hope you enjoy it and I hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you.